<clears throat> G'day everyone, Gareth here from Fraser Coast Food Forest. This is a quick video today on my bananas. Not all of them, just the blue java. I come out this morning and we have a bunch just here that's starting to turn yellow. You see? Two there. One's just starting to turn up there. Now I could leave this on here longer, but um, I think I can see fruit fly actually hanging around it too. This is the second bunch of the blue java, or the ice cream banana. Now, last time I harvested some, the actual blue java had actually fallen over. And I was worried, because none of them had turned yellow. So I harvested them, they did start ripening them, but I did not like the bananas. They were a funny texture, they were very soft on the outside, but then had a little crunch in the middle. That's a native stingless bee. That's an Australian native stingless bee, I think, flying around. Flying around the banana for some reason. So hopefully there's a, yeah, that's definitely one. Hopefully there's a, a nest around nearby. Because that's awesome. I have not seen one on this property before. But I will definitely look back at this video because it definitely looks like one, but my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Anyway, like I said, they were they were very soft in on the outside, but they had this little crunch in the middle, which had that um oh what's the word I'm after? Astringent astringent type taste to it and I didn't like them now if you look at these there's a lot of imperfection I think there's stuff that's got its way into it there's a lot of holes here so it's going to be interesting to see what these bananas are going to be like on the inside but we're going to harvest these today it's getting propped up at the moment and that's exactly how the first bunch of bananas were. So I'm going to guess these are going to be similar in texture and taste, which is a shame. But if we go over here to this one, these ones, these ones don't have any sort of imperfections on them. I'm kind of hoping these ones are going to turn out really nice. But in the meantime, we're going to harvest these ones but I've got to try and get up here and undo this and she just might come crushing crashing down from the weight we're gonna find out Slowly going. I'll just chuck this down here. Oh, wow, how did that stay there? <laughs> I might actually. I might actually just push it. It might just break on its own in here. I can hear it cracking. I don't want it to hit the dragon fruit. I don't want to hit me basil. I don't care if it hits that banana pup. Here we go. Coming down. There we go. That's coming right out of the ground too. Oh, done. Done. I'm gonna go get the, the machine that has pulled out right on the ground lock. Right, let's go get me the machine. I'll be back. Got the trusty old machete. One left there. I don't know how I'm going to prop that up, but let's cut this one out first.
prune this a bit. I want to want to get it about here. Ready? There we go. I did hit me basil. Never mind. Just let that drain out a bit. And we'll go take that up to the house. Not the biggest bunch. Oh yeah, look these look. I'll just put it here so I can show you. These look terrible. Look, look at that. Look at the condition on them. I wonder why the last two bunches have gone like this. But those ones up there are, are fine. <clears throat> I honestly reckon these are going to be diseased. There's going to be critters in them. Let me see if I can get this one out. Let's open this up. We'll see if it's um Doesn't look like anything's got into it. It looks dry. It looks dry. Not quite ripe. But. seeds in it but it's not it's not the same texture as the last bunch mm. it's not bad oh, I should have cleaned it all look at all the ants in it oh, I'm gonna hose this down give it a clean And in a couple of days, there'll be some nice ripe ones here. Alright. Take care, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.